Okay, so in this video I'm going to show you how to use point info labels to create a nice clean report of the surface points on your part. So this is sometimes referred to as road mapping and I'm just going to show you a few tips and tricks that I've picked up over the years to make the process a lot easier. Okay, so you can see my part here. I've got quite a few uh, surface points. I've just hidden the labels. So I just wanted to show you a quick easy way to report that using a point info label. Okay, so what I've done is I've created a saved layout just over here that just makes the road mapping a lot easier. The other thing I've done is created a custom toolbar. Um, so you can see mine over here. I've got a few icons. I've got the point info shortcut, uh, text box mode, translate, undo, uh, screen capture, and report. So if I, um, if I mouse over those, you can see what that is. Okay, so let's zoom in here. So if we use text box mode, which I have enabled, what that allows us to do is just box over a few points. The context menu comes up and I can just select create point info boxes. Select OK and immediately you can see the deviations in a label. So with the new snapshot feature, I can just hit the camera button, give it a name if I want, click OK, and then I can check out my report. So there we go. Uh, real quick, real easy. Sometimes uh, this is all people want. So I'm going to undo that and undo the, the, uh, the point info labels. Another nice feature with the uh, text box mode is if I mouse over a point, you can see that it shows the ID. See how it turns that lighter shade of blue? And eventually it will show that ID. So I know these edge points are PL1 through I think 20 or 25 or something like that. So what I'll do is just go straight into point info. And I can just do a search here. So I just enter the letters PL, hit the tab key, and it brings me to the first one. So I'll just do about 20 or so. So let's do um, 1 through 19 and you can see up here at the top there's more options for um, what we display in the point info label but I just want to keep it real simple because I don't want to crowd out my graphic screen. So with deviation uh, selected, show vertical lines, show horizontal lines, that's all I want to do. Click OK and there we go. So we can do a few different uh, road maps here like I can just drag the screen over and just show a few. There we go, so that looks good. So when you get it the way you like it, you just hit the camera button, give it a name if you want, click OK, and let's have a look. So that looks good, so that's the one I just created. I can hide the report window, come over here, and just go keep going around the part like that. So it's relatively quick. The custom uh, toolbar makes it a lot easier. So let's get, hit the camera again and back to the report. So you can see how this works. Um, I'm just kind of going around the part, um, only showing deviation, quickly creating a snapshot and saving that to my report. So that's about it. I just wanted to give you a quick tip on point infos, uh, point info labels, and the new snapshot feature. Well, I hope you found that useful. Thanks for joining me and we'll see you next time.